The John C. Stennis Space Center tested its last RS-25 engine for the season. News 25's Brooke Parker was out there to see the launch. She has more information on what these tests are for. This engine will send astronauts to the moon. As powerful as this one RS-25 engine sounds, it doesn't have the power to launch Artemis V into space alone. And it takes four of these RS-25 engines to power that stage, along with two solid rocket boosters. And so this is one of those four engines that is used on that rocket to take astronauts to the moon. The goal of these tests is for the RS-25 to last 500 seconds or roughly eight and a half minutes at full power. That's the same time that they would run during, a, during a, a, an Artemis mission. Uh, so we try to test the engine as closely to how it's gonna operate when it's actually flying. The test is so loud that hearing protection is required. As the engine powers up, there's a loud pop, rumbling, and then steam begins to filter out as liquid hydrogen mixes with liquid oxygen. This test is the last in a series of 12 RS-25 engine tests. It's not the end, however, because NASA will be back in the fall with more tests to run. I have a couple of months of downtime, maybe to catch up on maintenance on the facility, but there's another test series that's going to start in the fall, uh, probably with some different components that they're going to check out. Now, NASA can move forward with producing updated RS-25 engines that will shoot for the stars. The place has such a rich history of support, whether it was Apollo missions or space shuttle missions, and now the SLS rocket and Artemis 1, which launched uh, you know, last year, and we're getting ready to do Artemis 2 uh, in next year, which will take the astronauts around the moon. So it, it's great to be part of this big mission, and um, you know, it's great to have it here in Mississippi. From John C. Stennis Space Center, I am Brooke Parker for WXXV, the place for news.